Show me coming. His voice cracks. I know, my voice cracks so much. Two years ago at East High, Nini played the back end of the cow and gypsy. And whoa, who is the cute chorus cow and why is she not playing a human? Nini moved on to bigger and better now with CJ. This summer for the lead role with 20 minutes notice. Never should have stolen her phone. You think? It's not the person I want to be. You know what I should do? If I'm going to own up to this, I need to do it in a way that she really hears. And if this were a TV show, you know I'd have to go and plead insanity. Believed in you. I'm a smidge confused. I tried to bribe Miss Jen into giving me the part of Troy when I thought Ricky dropped out of the show. I'm actually an idiot. Yeah, good question. This is a waste of time. Not a problem. Because apparently I don't have emotions. Then what was I just doing on stage? Let someone in the group post a status Insta story proclaiming your love for someone else. The Luck of the Irish, I love that movie. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go with that one. Was a huge basketball nerd. Yeah. I loved science. Mm. Earth and space science mm -hmm. was great. I think I'm gonna go bro out with Joe Jonas. Mm. It's kind of their internal thoughts as to what's going on because nobody else can see that or hear that. So it's kind of a really great way for the audience to kind of get to see where our characters are at throughout the season. You're, it's you're it's not gonna... all a confidence game. It's mm -hmm. all a confidence Amen. game. And I feel so much better about it now. Yeah. I like to scare people. There is the and thus EJ forever Matt wished EJ was Southern. <laughs> Two days ago, Josh goes, so... I've said it a thousand times. Oh, wow, I sound <laughs> so, great. so much that you lost your voice. <laughs> so, yes, so a thousand times. It was like it was magical. In a way. First musical that I watched that I actually like love. And I kind of felt like Troy because I played basketball, I was in theater, so I was like, eh, how do I juggle it? It is no! Oh, oh my gosh, Ooh. I wore this Wait, I for the whole too. first yeah. episode. What? You want to give them the fun fact about, about for breaking uh, free? The mics. Oh no. What? So Twinkle Town. <laughs> Twinkle Town? <That's> we got <laughs> maybe was, two out count. of, out we of got like a fair 12. Share. Wait, we had to have a number? This is Blast Out High School Musical Musical Musical! Right thing for the wrong, or no, the, the wrong thing for the right reason. Yeah, yeah. EJ is gonna come across as the mean guy, the bad boy. He is not, he is, and I, I've said this before, he is just misunderstood. Uh, no, EJ is just very, uh, he gets himself in trouble because he's very passionate with the things he loves, and uh, one of those being Nini, and so he just gets himself in trouble quite often. But there are plenty of times in the series where I am Team Ricky, and it's weird to say that, but like, there's a lot of times where like, I see Ricky and what he's doing, and what he's trying to do, and I'm like, wow, I feel bad for that guy. Yeah, I definitely think we pay a ton of respects to the original movies, mm -hmm. um, but yet we have such originality for our show, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> the fact that there is somebody for everybody in the show, mm -hmm. so there's a character to represent. Everybody. Cafeteria. Yeah. Very first shot. And I didn't know it was possible to be starstruck by a building. <laughs> and I put one up back in like November. Ricky Red. Oof. It's a tough one. It's 2 a.m. in Ireland. How cool.